All right, so let's just quickly save the changes that we've made so far. And then what we're going to do is we're going to move on to doing some cool stuff with Octave. So Octave is a really interesting tool, which allows you to build levels out of modular pieces. So this scene, the reason actually I chose this asset package, and we can kind of see if we look behind it, that it's all built out of these individual panels and objects, right? So there's a really cool opportunity here to build more stuff using these kind of Lego style pieces. And so I'm going to show you how you can combine this with Octave to make some really neat stuff. So what we're going to do is we are going to add in a new game object, create empty, and we're going to call this Octave 3D. And we're going to add to it the Octave 3D component, Octave 3D World Builder component. And we can see right away with it selected, we get this new grid in our scene, right? And some new gizmos become visible. And this is showing us where we're going to be able to place stuff um, once we start building with Octave. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by building a fence. So this is a kind of a cool thing that we can do with Octave. We can build sets of prefabs along paths. So the first thing I want to do just for convenience, since the Octave gizmos are only going to be visible if Octave is selected, right? If the Octave game object is selected. So I'm just going to go ahead and go edit, save selection one. So now I can just quickly uh, reselect it if I need to. And so what we're going to do is we're going to set this up to build a fence. So we're going to open up in Octave the prefabs, the prefab manager. I'm going to put it down here where the game view is for now. And what we need to do is add a prefab to this view to be able to kind of paint with it. And so let's fold this up. Let's unfold our Japanese village kit. Let's go down to the prefabs folder. We're going to go to fences. Let's pull up our preview so we can see what we're looking at. And I'm going to grab this fence A here. And we can see that it's just a little single section of a fence, right? So now I'm going to drag it into the prefab manager and select it, right? So now this is the prefab that I'm painting with. So I'm going to use my control shift one to reselect Octave 3D. And I'm going to choose the path mode, right? And this is going to allow me to draw paths with this fence. And so what I'm going to do is let's draw a fence. See, so we've got this kind of empty area, right? We kind of run out of level and you can see my rock placement is just really janky down here. I just kind of move them around to block off some of the skybox. So we don't want our player to see that theoretically if they're walking around, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go, let's actually, we'll do it right here parallel to the wall. And so I'm just going to click once, and then we see we now get this kind of cube gizmo. And if we go over here and we drag it out, we can now click to create a point. Whoops. Oh, and so what you saw there, right, that was a – I missed a step. What I want to do is I want to turn on rotate objects to follow path so that now – let's see if I can do this. We click, and then when we turn, the object itself is going to turn uh, with us, right? So that we can orient our objects correctly. So let's go to there, uh, left click once to place a point, and then oh, I keep switching off using the, I'm pushing the wrong arrow key, which is switching me into a different mode in Octave. I'm still getting uh, comfortable with the hotkeys. Okay, let's go across. And of course, you can click and then just keep going. Let's click there. And then let's zoom way out. Let's go over here and whoop. Let's go. Let's actually, let's put it, we'll put it right on that piece of thing there. And then we're going to go across the road. Why did the fence cross the road? Click and then zoop. And then we'll just close the gap there. Now, when I'm done, I've got my kind of gizmos laid out. I'm going to hold down shift and left click, shift and left click. And that is going to instantiate our fence for us, right? So we can see now 
we've got this lovely fence enclosing the area. Now the corners are a little janky, right? We could replace those. There's actually some dedicated corner pieces that we could put in. But as you can see, if we're just kind of roughing up a level, we can really nicely, just really quickly and easily do that. So what we've still got here are on this end, we've got some gaps, right? So let's fix those up real quick. So we're gonna use a different tool in Octave. Let's go ahead and grab shopping streets, I believe it is, paving walkway. Let's go paving, do, do, do. let's go paving ground dirt, I think is the one we want. Drop it in, it's snowy because it's got the snow material on it, right? And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna choose the block mode. And what this allows us to do, let's just go from right outside the fence and we're gonna click and drag and we can create a block of, did I get that in the right spot? Oh, actually it's a little off, let's undo that. Let's do it here so it lines up nicely. There. And there, I'm just taking it outside. I think this is actually not the matching material, but that's okay. And bring it down here. We go all the way down here. Yeah, it's a little different. That's all right. It's got snow on it, right? It'll be fine. But as you can see, right, we can just really quickly fill in these gaps. Let's fill in this one here. And it just really makes it a lot of fun to just kind of play around with with level design, right? We've got our kind of our building block pieces and we can just quickly hash something out, right? The other thing that we can use the placement tool for is just to kind of decorate a little bit, right? So we've got, let's say we wanted to add some in the shopping street section. We have a, a bench, for example, drag in the bench, shift one to select octave, and we can just use the point and click placement mode and let's try to rotate it. There we go. Let's just maybe put a bench there and a bench there and one over here if anybody wants to sit down while they're going for a walk. So we can just really quickly, you know, place these objects and they line up with the ground, right? We don't need to do a ton of fiddling with them and we can kind of decorate our scene that way. So just really nice, quick, fun workflow for building stuff. And then obviously you can also just go in and you know, select the object and fine tune it and mess with it, or, you know, maybe rotate it or whatever it was you wanted to do after you've placed it with Octave. So really cool, really useful tool for building levels out of modular pieces that I think you could have a lot of fun with. And, you know, worth noting, right, obviously not every game is going to be built out of modular pieces. So this is not the kind of thing that would make sense to include natively in Unity. But, you know, if you are building your game out of modular pieces, this has already been built for you and is a pretty robust. Um, and it's got a nice interface and nice editor windows and everything. So it's I definitely recommend that you you take a look. Okay, so now that we've looked at Octave and seen how we can use that to prototype level designs using modular pieces, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take a look at Fog Volume 3 and how we created the volumetric fog and clouds in our example scene.